Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna talk about line. Line is the most important thing in art because it is the number one principle of art. Every art that is created has some sort of line in it. And today we're gonna be creating our own moving line design. We're gonna be starting with a shape, which again is made up of lines. And then we're gonna put our moving lines coming out of that shape. So today we're gonna do this together and you're gonna choose different shapes than me and maybe some different lines, but I'm gonna walk you through it all. You're gonna need a blank piece of paper, a pencil or a pen or a crayon or a marker. And then you're gonna need crayons, color pencils, markers. If you have watercolor paint, whatever you have at home, feel free to use when we do the coloring part. So today we wanna to talk about the different kinds of lines there are. And there actually probably are a bunch more, but these are the most common ones. We have a curved line, we have a straight line, we have a diagonal line, we have a zigzag line, we have a dashed line, we have a dotted line, and we have a wavy line. So today, when you're thinking of a shape that you wanna do, you can choose to draw in either the right-hand corner or the left-hand corner. And again, I'm gonna use a black crayon because it's easier for you to see. But in my original, I did a triangle, but maybe I wanna do a rectangle. So I'm gonna do a pretty big rectangle. Now, from that rectangle, I wanna think about those lines that we talked about. And I wanna draw some lines coming out of my shape. So I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna do a wavy line and bring it all the way to the edge of the paper. Next, I'm gonna do a straight line. Then I'm gonna do a zigzag line. Next, I'm gonna do a dashed line. And then maybe over here, I might just do a little curved line. And that's all I really needed to do. You can add more lines if you'd like. Maybe you decide, oh, in here, you really wanna add another diagonal line. You go right ahead or a straight line. And then in here, maybe you feel like, oh, I need an extra little dashed line. Once you have that done, we're gonna begin the coloring part. Again, feel free to use crayons, markers, paint, whatever you have at home. I'm gonna use crayons because that's just what I happen to have right here. And I'm gonna show you how to do the coloring part. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna color my shape in black. So I'm gonna color my shape in black and then every space is going to get a different color. So that means this section in here will get one color. This section will get another color. This one and so on. So now, once we're all colored, we have our moving line design. And if you notice in the last step, I just took a crayon and I went over and outlined all those lines one more time just so they really popped out. And again, now we have two really cool designs and we learned about our moving lines and how they're important in every artwork. 